and welcome back. Today we are doing a disappointing products video mm. with some things, some of them are very cheap, some of them are very expensive. I find typically I'm only really disappointed when a product is expensive because mm. if a product is inexpensive I'm like you know what that's okay. The price point means that perhaps the ingredients aren't as good as a higher end product or they don't have the research and development team behind them so that it's not as advanced as maybe it should be. But if you are spending a lot of money on a product and you've done research and it, you've waited for years to buy this product and it's crap, it hurts my heart. It's very sad. Yeah. Yeah. Shall I start with the one that is crushing? Oh, I think you should. I can feel emotional about <clears throat> this one. This is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I hate it. And if I could throw it anywhere in this room, I would, but it'll just make a mess. I have never lusted after a product more. I spent years talking myself out of buying this because it was so expensive and everyone raves about it online and I was like it sounds perfect for me I love luminous things <laughs> so I on the way back from Iceland uh, we had a couple of hours in Amsterdam and I went into a department store and I saw it and I thought do you know what I'm gonna treat myself and it was something like 50 euros <laughs> it was a lot like it was a lot I got home and I was like oh, yay <laughs> this is gonna be the best it was the worst <laughs> It was the worst. It applies terribly on me. I know I have dry skin, but I have other foundations that manage to get my skin looking glowy. This just, it looks flat and it doesn't apply nicely and it gets patchy and it wears terribly throughout the day. It just it completely disappears into my skin. I've tried everything. I've mixed it with oils, with other foundations, with moisturizers, with different primers, and it just, it never works. No, it's, I mean, it's, it's a tragedy. And I hate you. Okay, <laughs> on the other end of the price spectrum, we have Morphe brushes. Now, Morphe has an absolutely enormous product range, okay? So I'm not saying all Morphe brushes are bad, just these two that <laughs> I happen to have. Uh, this is the M556 and this is the M502. Now, the main reason that I hate them <laughs> is because they shed, both of them shed really badly, and I'm sorry, my life is way too short to be picking little black hairs off my face. So I don't appreciate that, and if you saw our favourites video, you would have seen that I had an e.l.f. brush in there, which also was cheap as chips and is the most amazing quality, so I don't buy into the idea that because they're inexpensive that they should be bad quality. So they do that. Also, when I wash them, they leak black dye. Oh! Which I've never I've had never with any any before. other brush. So literally, when I when I squeeze the water out on a white towel, this black dye just goes oh, everywhere. Gross. It's so grim. Anyway, so the reason I bought this is because I really wanted a brush that was this particular size and shape. So it's a really good little kind of blush brush. I do still use it every now and then, but I mean, it's really not my favorite. This I use for highlighter, which means I don't really have to wash it that often. Basically, that's how I get around that. So I just use it to highlight on the sort of high points of my face, and mm. um, it does that job well. But it looks like it's, it's blade. Yeah, and like it, no, they haven't washed well at all. They haven't worn. This used to be much more kind of tight. It's yeah. Um, I don't know, hey, those uh, those didn't work for me. I, I'm keen to try other ones. I know the, the, the brand does do various levels, so there is like kind of a premium range as well, so I'd be interested to try that, but um, yeah, those two did not work for me, and I won't be rushing out to buy more. The eyeshadow palettes, I love. Mm. Another one. I love how Camilla's all like so expensive. No, because I really do my research. Yeah. Okay. And I do. Like if I'm going to spend a lot of money on a product, I research it, I look at every swatch that is on the internet, and I read every review before I buy it. And, you know, do you know what I think it is? Anna from Viviana does makeup. The things that she loves, I hate. So no, but it's Good true. Know. No, but it's so everything that she loves, I then go and buy, and I end up hating it because we obviously have very different preferences. Mm -hmm. But because I like her, I'm like, oh, it must be nice. <laughs> it's not nice. So this is another one that she absolutely loves. This is the Burberry Eye Color in Pale Barley, which is like a cult classic. It's just like a one wash wonder. You see this? Um, you can hang on to that for a while. <laughs> Thanks. Just... Can I have your rejects? <laughs> no, but it, it'll probably you I will like... have your rejects. <laughs> you like more natural stuff. Oh yeah, I'm totally gonna wear that. <laughs> I don't like I want something memorable and that for me is not no memorable. I mean that, to pay that kind of money for something that's that bland like it's you know it, it it's it's not like surprise it's not a mm. bright eyeshadow I mean it, you know it does what it says in the tin but um mm. it's almost like the payoff just isn't enough it would be amazing if it was like the Urban Decay formula because that doesn't feel that creamy. It's not good. I'm like if it was like really rich and like creamy and yeah. had like a real like sheen to it, I think that would look amazing. But yeah, it does. You know, like when you when you hang on to things for so long and you think like eventually I'll learn to love it or it'll magically start working for me. I've been doing this for like 18 months and it doesn't work <laughs> for me. So and it it really bumps me out, dude. It really bumps me out because 
I really only buy premium quality makeup. Anyway. I've got another brush, and this one really hurts. This oh, was yeah. an expensive brush, okay? I remember when you bought that in London, the first time you used it, you were like, oh no. This is the NARS Yachio Kabuki. It is utter shite. <laughs> I do not understand the hype around this brush. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> I don't, you won't be able to see this on the screen, but a, a whole uh, brush here just came out. It sheds. It's scratchy AF, okay? I don't understand how my e.l.f. brush, which is this little cheap guy that's super, super soft and gorgeous, I don't understand how that is... I don't understand how it's possible that this brush is so hyped up. I just don't get it. It, it is so scratchy. It's so scratchy. So it's just, it's not a pleasure to use and mm -hmm. I don't... I just, it's such a waste of money. I don't get it at all. And mm. um, the only reason I bought it is because I had a voucher at Space NK and it was literally like 25 pounds instead of like, mm. I think it's like 40 pounds mm. normally. So that's the only reason I bought it in the first place. But even at that price, I'm pissed off. Like, mm. this is so not worth the hype. I, I should have, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I don't know. Don't buy it. Just don't buy it. I've only got one more, so you go for another one. Okay. This is a disappointing product that really really upsets me because I wanted to like the stuff so badly and I do like it it's just there's a fundamental flaw so these are the Colourpop Super Shock shadows I love the idea of them this colour in particular absolutely rocks my world this is weenie a weenie oh, yeah. and it's just so beautiful it looks so gorgeous on the eyes and I love it so much there's not a lot of product in here that no, is no, deceptive and I've used that like once or twice so I could wear this color every single day for the rest of my life I'm perfectly happy the problem is that they crease mm. so badly I don't own a single other eyeshadow product with a cream or powder that creases even if I use primer so what I have to do is I have to set this with a shadow on top which makes no sense. So what I have to do is I wear that and then I get my Morphe palette out, this one, which is the 35T, uh, and I get that color out, which is the exact same shade, and I put that all over. So what's the point? I should just wear that eyeshadow. So anyway, like Camilla, I have been trying for months mm. to make it work and I just can't. So I'm a little bit frustrated about that. I also brought out the shade Hanky Panky, which is like a matte, taupe color it's just it's hard work to blend again it creases i just i should just rather use groundwork mm. from mac it, yeah i use matte shadows usually for shading like in the mm. sockets and because these don't blend well they just become a bit pointless so you kind of have to wear them on their own all over the eye or nothing but like i said then they crease so very very sad i'm sure that the new powder shadows from ColourPop are great but uh yeah i don't love those this was a love that's turned into a hate what <clears throat> what is this this is the elamasca uh, the aurora a uh, gleam highlighter in the color Aurora. I don't know if I've got a dud, but what is with this formula? What has happened here? Well, mine doesn't look like this. It started off being a joy, and I think I, I've reviewed it on the blog, I'm sure. The only way I think I can wear it now is if I'm wearing no foundation. What is life? No, I'm not going to do that. Because it separates on top of every single thing that I put on top of. It creams, or just normal, if I just wear this on top of foundation, it gets patchy and it like lifts my oh, foundation and it's it gets... so irritating but i don't know why it's happened in such i haven't actually of time. used it for ages because i bought it right before i got lunch money and yeah. i it was like in a favorites and i do love it and then literally the next month it's very I it's very very using. very creamed powder so like you apply it and it sets like a powder and now when i'm swatching it on my hand i'm like god you know that is really pretty but it doesn't work on my face yeah, that's so sure. it's a real bummer it's but such a beautiful color. It is really beautiful, but now that I have my Charlotte Tilbury one, I'm not like crying about it, it's fine. Mm. But it is just oh, a shame because sad. money. I've got two more disappointing products. This is one of them. This is the RCMA Translucent Powder. Uh, it's not the no color powder, but I'm going to assume that they're the same formula mm. because why wouldn't they be? Yeah. Um, it doesn't work though. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, it doesn't, like it's cool, goes on well, so like the first five seconds on your face are like, oh yeah, so matte. And then like two hours later, I am a shiny disco ball mess. Mm -hmm. It is quite bizarre. So I don't, I don't get that. And Camilla's even tried it and doesn't even work on her dry skin. So yeah, uh, very disappointing. My last one is another one that hurts me because I loved it so much until I wore it on a sunny day and realized it was filled with glitter. If you look really, really closely in the bottle, you can see that there's actually a fine shimmer all the way through the product, which I didn't know. I wore it for like a week and it happened to be kind of cloudy every day and I didn't really notice. And then, it, like I said, I wore it on a sunny day and I looked in the mirror and my entire face <laughs> was sparkling, which is not a look that I feel works for me. 
So that was really sad because the formula otherwise is absolutely beautiful. It is the most gorgeous foundation. Why they would put shimmer in it, I just don't know. Such so a it's such a shame. Which is so I know. So if you are looking for a really affordable, proper, grown-up foundation, Max Factor do make this, which is the Lasting Performance Foundation, oh, which is yeah. spectacular. Mm, so um, this is a this is the most beautiful foundation. So mm. buy this one. Don't buy this one. Mm. Okay. I think that's enough negativity. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Please tell us if there's anything you've tried that you found disappointing, so that we know not to buy it ourselves. Mm. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.